forward. The search for the Oregon man who was suspected of targeting women on dating apps is now over. That suspect is dead. Overnight, police and the suspect, his name is Benjamin Foster, were locked in a tense standoff for several hours. It finally ended with a SWAT team storming the home where he had barricaded himself. CBS's Lilia Luciano is in Grants Pass, Oregon tonight, where all of this unfolded. We do want to warn you, some of the details from this case are disturbing. The intensive search for Benjamin Foster strangely ended where it began, at a home where police say he bound and tortured his victim, nearly killing her. Our cameras were there during the standoff. Pops and bangs rang out on what neighbors say is a usually quiet street in Grants Pass, a small city in southwest Oregon. Come out with your hands up. They approached behind large shields, assembling in a line, then moved in. After the standoff, Foster was brought to the hospital, where police say he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. On Tuesday, police posted a photo of Foster from earlier in the day, where you can see him walking a dog in town. That prompted law enforcement to swarm the area. Last week, police got close to catching the 36-year-old some 20 miles away, but he escaped. There, they did charge a 68-year-old woman accused of helping him get away and warn the public that he was still active on dating apps, perhaps to find an accomplice or another victim. As this was not the first time he was accused of a crime. In 2017, a partner accused him of trying to strangle her. And in 2019, Foster was charged with assaulting his then-girlfriend in her home in Las Vegas, tying her up for two weeks, severely beating her before she could escape. Foster faced decades behind bars, but took a plea deal and was released from prison the same day he arrived because of time already served in jail.